Welcome to Late Night Chat with JT and Nico, episode 58. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, Nico. Yeah, how, how's your phone doing there? You, you good over there on your phone? Yeah. Well, we start the show? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention, man. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, I'm always paying attention. Whoa. I got a little bit too much there, man. <laughs> what about you? I'm good, man. Sorry, um, man. I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of glad we were able to still do this today, guys. We almost canceled due to the coronavirus, <laughs> this the taping of this episode. It's going to be a fucking wall between <laughs> us, like I told you, man. We're going to have to fucking do it from home. All this shit's um, going to be here, and we're going to have to fucking somehow make it work. You know, theoretically, <laughs> if everybody does get locked down and quarantine, or some shit's about to go down in the coming weeks, guys. We're uh, fucked. Well, no. There is something called the internet. Me and Jay could try to record uh, over the internet that way. The fucked up thing is going to be having to explain to Jay how to set up his computer to do that <laughs> on his end. But we we can try to figure it out. But anyways, so Listen. we're... <laughs> Fuck off. I don't have any microphones. Yeah. So how the fuck am I going to do it? Oh, yeah, actually, I do. You'll take this mic. No, I actually also have the other one. The if USB I'm at one. home, yeah, if I'm at home, I could do it that play. way. Yeah. Actually, that is very easy. And then you could just come in on the Discord. Yeah, exactly. If I don't want to <laughs> fucking leave my house, if they quarantine my ass. There you go. It's the purge, buddy. It's the purge, man. <laughs> Didn't you watch that fucking movie? Oh, look at that one. I, uh, I got to get too much... Uh, too much pee sounds yeah, popping I, in I the I mics. The, yeah. Pop, 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 pop. I realize I'm so low, but except when I say something to the fucking pee. That's okay. But it's all right. No. But yeah, no, they, they I, fuck, man. <laughs> After today, who you knows, next week. Shall we get into it as much as I'm sick of hearing and talking about coronavirus after this this past too, week and, and in the last two days, especially since, um, you know, obviously everybody who's watching this knows now that the World Health Organization has called it a pandemic and people are fucking By the losing time you their hear this, shit. You could be dead. Literally losing their shit and they're buying toilet paper to wipe it up. <laughs> you know, I'm making, I'm making a joke about it, but literally, I mean, it could be... It could be, uh, you know, we're making jokes about it. Yeah, but, you know. It, trying to make light of the situation yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for now, right? Maybe, you know. But, trying to stay I mean, positive. Who knows, who knows what's going to happen next week. It could totally disappear. But, I mean, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. No, Jay, let's, let, that's not, uh, that's not Get to add to the fear mongering right now that's, well, that's going we on. We could but no th- longer exist next week, bro. I, we, I, I could be dead, man. You know, it's funny, if you if you rewind the tape here, and you can go back a few episodes when this shit started uh, oh, man. first percolating here, where I talked about it on the cast, and I said to, you, I said to everybody there, you know, it's on the record, uh, I said, you know, there's going to be a time to worry, now is not the time. That was, what, a few weeks ago? Now it's starting, starting to, to get, get a little, little worry, yeah. so I'm not going to lie to you guys, <laughs> but, um, you know... I got my toilet paper. I'm good. Uh, I still, again, I I think that we're in a good place. We're not overseas somewhere where it's worse. We're not a third world Um, country. We got some sort of resources and shit. And uh, we're taking lots of precautions, uh, you know, so much so we're going to get into it, what they're basically doing throughout like North America right now, uh, for instance. Uh, Fuck. So it's just the, the rapid pace. And like the things that occurred over the last two days, that's really made it fuck up. Because me, honestly, I didn't get truly a little worried, uh, even a bit, till I heard that they canceled the NHL season. <laughs> that's what well, I'm like. Oh shit! I kind of figured. I kind of figured sports was gonna go. I mean, I, I figured well, big events would go first. They right? were already talking about a week ago, talking yeah. about perform um, doing sports in empty buildings, right? Yeah. But then um, this past. Um, uh, a couple days ago, they confirmed that a Utah Jazz basketball player who just played the Raptors played us on Monday. That was in Toronto, and fucking, there's even footage of like, uh, what's his name, like Lowry or something. I think well, like hugging the in, guy. Or yeah, like they were fucking, getting into a little yeah. bit of a scrap. No, <laughs> I don't know. He was very close contact yeah. to the guy who just been confirmed as uh, having coronavirus. Right? Uh, what's his name? Uh, He's down somebody here. from Utah. Gobert. Gobert. He's a weird name. Rudy Gobert, yeah. the guy on Utah who was just confirmed with uh, having coronavirus. So um, so right there, and now all the Raptors right. are getting screened. And then... So uh, he's going to go down f- in the history. Fresh, fresh on the heels of that um, 
reveal that he has corona he had coronavirus like he was tested positive for it they canceled they suspended sorry suspended the nba season for the time being so what that means is and it doesn't mean it was canceled everybody but chances are it's not going to get better anytime soon and it may get canceled altogether but um which is shitty because the playoffs are right around the corner same with hockey which we'll get into in a moment but (laughs) but um yeah so um because of that, yeah, they, they felt it was safe for the players as as well as the attendees to cancel, uh, postpone the season for the time being until like. Well, you, you don't know, know who's going to show up. You can't trust any people's word. You you, you want to take people for their word, but I mean, you got to be. You, you still got to tr- tread with a. Uh, you got to tread with a fine tooth comb. Like I mean, you got to sorry tread on. <laughs> Tread with a fine tooth I don't know where comb. that came from, man. Tread lightly, you Tread mean? Lightly, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I was having a brain fart there, man. I you just start... kind of threw two different uh, yeah. terms Tread together. Tread lightly. <laughs> Tread lightly. You know, it's 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 a fine line, man. Like, yes. You gotta you gotta really. You, you, it's hard to tell if anybody is actually. I mean, you don't even know if you have the symptoms. They they saying so. Who knows, man? I mean, me and Nico could be sick here right now. We don't know. It's true. It's it's honestly it is yeah. true, man. Yeah. Unfortunately, and how much fucking germs this mics hold, you know, from us spitting in Shrug there and all that right fucking, all up on it. you know. <laughs> but you know, if this keeps going with this NHL strike, I might just be another champion for a year. Did you think about that one? So I wanted to get into that too before we get into the full uh, other madness that's going on around the world right now as we we talk about that. <laughs> uh, hockey pools, very interesting position that I'm in right now as well. Uh, so for all you poolies out there, um, as you know, the playoffs are happening uh, or just about to happen the start of uh, April. Yeah, and for days. Jay, because like, he's in the Yahoo League, the playoffs are happening right, right now. now. It, some of them are set up that way because they don't play the playoff season. So they, yeah. they do it separate. a couple. Yeah, exactly. It's totally Whereas separate, me, yeah. I just do regular season. I don't do yeah. playoffs either. But mine would have been about, you know, maybe about three more weeks. Most, most, most teams got about 14, 15 games left in them, right? So. Yeah. Um, yeah, they were saying it's like a total, like 160 something games to go, um, NHL for them. So, and then uh, what, April 3rd or 4th, I think was the last official, uh, day of the uh, season, season, right? Regular season. Right. Regular season. So, um, today, as soon as this news broke, the fucking messages started flying in the group chat of the couple of pools that I'm in for hockey <laughs> because everyone's figuring out what's happening, right? Yeah, true. Uh, because it's true. Like, w- do we pay out each other now? Do we wait? Like, how long you are we going to wait. wait? You got to wait. You got to wait at least two weeks, dude. Right. But that's what that, well, that, see, that was my suggestion. So there was a lot of back and forth happening between all the participants, of course, right now. Because in the one pool, if we were to pay out the money right now, let's say, or soon, I'm in first. The one that I'm in right now. So, yeah. I'm in first. There's a tie. I'm tied. As of last night, the guy just, one of the people just caught up with me. We're tied in the Yahoo pool, okay? But the winner is the person who has the most goal. I'm number one in goals on the team right now. So because that rule was set in place prior to the season starting, I would technically win if we were to be a paid out right now. Now, it gets in- more interesting. Listen to this. So then... We, while all of us are still trying to f- figure this out, including the GM, he starts asking about, okay, well, what happens if they prolong it and the players that weren't supposed to come back till the playoffs become active again? The people in the pool, like me, like him, like a couple of the other guys, yeah. um, we don't have any moves left, basically. Okay. I have like one move basically left that I can switch for an IR guy. Like okay. I can switch off a guy and bring somebody else in. Um, when he, and, and there's people that were lower in the pool that have been sitting back with their all their picks, trying to oh, wait for a moment towards the end where they can basically can pick it. up a yeah. bunch of people because they, they don't stand a chance otherwise, right? So all, when all this conversation is going on, a guy th- that's part of that fucking group, the group chat yeah. went into the fucking app, picked up Stamkos that I just dropped from fucking a week ago when he got injured, okay? Because he was he was oh, supposed to be out for still. the entire regular rest of the regular season, four to six weeks, he said. He may come back in the playoffs. L- listen, scooped him up, scooped up Stone from ba- Vegas, who hasn't come back officially yet, it's been on and off. He picked up like three or four fucking good players that if it prolongs and we are to continue in a few weeks from now, he has He has, he has the now. upper hand now. Right. Because, you, but I don't know why, you don't have keepers, right? You don't play with keepers for the next year, do you? 
you. No, we don't play that way. But the GM basically who was in the chat also said, as we were talking about it, I looked at the pool and I'm like, well, yo, this guy already fucking sniped all the players <laughs> while you're trying to decide. He's like, well, I don't know what I can do now. And he's like, I think if anything, those players should not be, you shouldn't be able to pick those players off. Up. If they were announced that they were going to be out for the rest of the regular season, yeah. I'm saying I should take those players back. So we're going to regroup and, and decide once they actually, if they do announce coming back in a few weeks, what's going on with that because it listen if they don't come back you lose out bro I no that's what i'm Sorry. saying if they don't come back it doesn't fucking matter yeah it ends the, here, and here and there right yeah. and, and and it doesn't fucking matter what players he picked up but if they do fucking come back and they allow that that's gonna be fucked up because like for instance like i said i wouldn't have let stamp goes go if i knew that we were gonna fucking be playing past a certain date well, time frame you know what i mean like it just it goes for anybody though that and the guy picked up like three fucking four good players because of that because, see i think they they saying too, even the Stanley Cup has to be has to be uh, given out by roughly that June thirteenth, give or take a few days, whatever it is, around my nephew's birthday. I remember. So when they announced this, there was a lot of you know talk going around too. Nothing's been you confirmed know, as of yet. But when, what's going to happen? Right. right. But for instance, if one one scenario. Weeks. No, one scenario that they could do though is like the same shit that happened with the lockout. Okay, they can go straight into the playoffs. Yeah, but they they could end the season right now, like let's say in a few weeks, and, and go straight into, and the, go playoffs straight into the playoffs. From because the only I think the statement that, that they've made your, so far, absolutely, because there's going to be teams that, that are going to get fucked over for next year too, and everything. Right, and and some teams are going to get fucked over as a result of it. I'm just I'm just trying to play the, out all scenarios. Well, right? the yeah. Eastern Conference too, right? If you think about it, they're they're so tight right now. Every game counts for right. each team. So there's 12 games, give or take, left. But correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't that what happened when we faced Boston for the first time years ago where we shouldn't have gone in the playoffs because of the lockout and we lost so many fucking games out of the regular season when we went Yeah, but the then playoffs? you came back. Right. And you came back with a vengeance. That was the 7-7. Seven, seven. That, that was the first. first time that was right. Got back. But that's what happened. I remember. That we was went a short straight season. into. Uh, that's right. So that could happen again right now, right? That could very well happen if they announce. Let's say we go four weeks. Let's, so most things that are being canceled right now I don't think are from March for March and April. Most people are canceling throughout March, possibly April. into April. Yeah, I get so that part. If we come back in May, yeah, okay, they're gonna probably go straight to playoffs, right? Yeah, or they're gonna you're gonna lose all those games that were like okay, say there's to ten games. Say say you lose, say they stop the strike and you everybody loses ten games, but they have two games left for the play to before the playoffs. They'll use that those last two games to determine they, who they'll, makes they'll it into the playoffs. Anything that's right. PB, PPD right now, right? Like that's that's not play playable right, right. now. It's funny because you only usually see that in in when it comes. I to know. Like when baseball, I saw it on the right? app today, I was like, what the well, fuck? Well, you only <laughs> usually see when it comes to baseball, right? Because yeah. of the rain delays. I right. always thought it meant something about a rain delay, but it's just a de delay in the game, right? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, they, they, I'm saying like if, if if it comes back, okay, and they're out for two weeks and there's still like two or three games left, I don't think they cannot make ice come July, bro. In most of these places and most of these buildings, they cannot make ice. I know it's it, it's going to cost a fortune, and mm -hmm. the money already that they've already got, they're already losing just from tonight alone. Picture how many teams are going at it tonight. There's what eight teams. There was a lot of games, games going. Today, eight yeah. sets of games going yeah, on tonight, yeah. and, and, and that's the thing. Those those teams there. You know how much money right there that is that they're losing out. I mean, they're screwed. Right. And I, and I don't know. There, I have a friend that has season tickets, and I think she's. They lose out on money, right? Because if it, the games aren't, uh, you know, they, I, I think they would have to fight it, but they would probably get their money back because they are season holders. Right. But what about those those poor guys that are vending and selling beer and those other people that are there that are serving you your coffee or serving you your, uh, uh, everybody that works inside that building, security. Right. All those people that are employed. So I checked my stats on this when I was reading into this, the possibilities of what could happen, right? So I was scouring the internet trying to figure, because, you know, between us and the chat there and the guys in the pool, we were just kind of throwing ideas around of how we could resolve this, if anything, right? Of course, I'm biased because I'm like, listen, let's end this shit so I can collect my money and then I'm out, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and, and I'm actually first, that same goes for, I'm first in two, I'm in three pools, okay? Yeah. I'm in three pools. I'm first in two of those pools right now, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And in the other one, it's one of those box pools. There's like 700 participants or something. I'm 12th. The yeah. first like 20 get paid out. So I'm in the money right now in all the in pools. In the money. In all three pools, bro. Fucking prick. Right. 
But I don't like guys like you. Sorry. <laughs> but we'll see what happens, right? I could get screwed over. Who knows? But no, I know what you're so, saying. So, so, so I checked my stats on this. Uh, apparently, the NHL eventually was uh, forced to go. Uh, if they eventually are forced to go a step further uh, and cancel the 2019-2020 season and playoffs, this would be the third time in history that the Stanley Cup hasn't been awarded. Apparently, yeah, but this the is the first, first time, time for fucking anything. Like but the, anything this, the, apparently virus. the first time, connecting back to something you brought up the last episode, was, that? was due to the Spanish flu in 1919. That I was told the first you, time. I told you there was, was the a first flu. time that it wasn't awarded. Because, 1919? Because, yeah. All the that way far back, back eh? that far back. So almost, almost after the well, start of the uh, NHL, half those guys probably died back then, <laughs> man. You know, but the NHL, uh, the Stanley Cup was not awarded that year as a result. Okay, yeah. And then the second time they said, uh, but uh, although we just talked about this with the lockout, they said two thousand four, two thousand five lockout because that was the that's a long period, right? That they went. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, fuck, man. So those are the two times in NHL history where that's happened, that there's been a delay in it. And uh, this might be the third. I mean, let's be honest, because right now we're only going to see it get worse. I don't see them coming back within the next month. Honestly, like, do you? I don't oh, know. No, they're not coming back. No. I don't think they're coming back. I, uh, two week, I told you, if they're done two weeks, I don't think they're... You, you tell me in the middle of the summer, Vegas is going to be able to make ice there? I mean, they'll figure it out. They'll ship it in from somewhere if they have to. Chunks Forget of ice. about all the money and the logistics <laughs> and stuff like that for a second. I just meant with, let's focus on the actual spread of the coronavirus as it is right now and like how it's going to maybe get, it's going to get, sorry, not maybe, it's going to get worse. Yeah. Do you think there's any eventuality that they would come, do you think they're going to come back at all? Because they, 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 the think, only statement, so. the only statement they've made so far is that they would Most like the, that and that they would, they, uh, they plan on ending the season and, and awarding the Stanley Cup in the playoffs. So, so that's why after I heard that statement, I was like, okay, if they do come back in a month or so, they're going to go straight into the playoffs. Like you said, they may play a game or two. Imagine to they determine. just take like the top. Because there's a lot of guys that teams. are tied right now, right? Imagine they just take the who top the fuck two knows, teams. man? I don't know. They take It'll like be... the fucking, I guess, Boston, I guess it I, is just... right now, and fucking, who's, who's on who's Tampa. In the Western Oh, no, Tampa. that's... Is Boston ahead of Tampa right now? I think they're going to be the first one to okay. reach 100 this year. So then who's in the other one? I don't know. It's the... Uh, Nashville. No, Nashville's No, lower. not Nashville. Nashville's Let's check. Lower. Winnipeg or Calgary? Is, no, Calgary or... Oh, Vancouver. Western Conference, there, right? San, yeah, no, San Jose shit right now. No, no. Yeah. Minnesota's moving Western's always kind of close, though. It's it's no, like Eastern's one break. close. Eastern is always close. Western is always a blowout. By one team and uh, oh, you're looking at NBA, but no, yeah, normally it's our side that's always. Fucked it's not up. the Ducks. It's not LA. Oh no, those guys are last play, the Blues. Blues. I, what we Colorado. Play? That's the team I had. Dallas yeah, is year. third. That's not bad. Jets. Okay, so Nashville's just out of the uh, the playoff run, right? No, but they, and you know what's funny is that I told you watch out for what's it called uh, if that if that happens. Yeah, so watch Bruins are Minnesota. ahead. Of, Bruins are ahead of the. Uh, yeah, by uh, what one point? I know. Two, three points. I thought we were here, so no, we just surpassed. We just surpassed the Panthers. Spot. No, I thought no, we. I, I thought we were in the playoff spot. I thought we were fourth in standings. But looks like we just passed Panthers recently. It shows you as look points for eighty one, but you got to be careful because uh, the ties. No, but you got to be careful because look at eighty nine Flyers, Penguins, eighty six. Okay, you got to look at those for playoff. We're literally checking stats now, guys. Playoff. But. <laughs> no, but look, you guys are with Columbus and 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 the Hurricanes. Yeah. At that level there, and you know it sucks, but they, they're they're fighting for a, what do you call a spot? You but know? look at this, Rangers right up their ass. But this Rangers is what are I mean. probably going to make it the in. Eastern, the Eastern side. Look how tight it is, bro. Yeah. Look at the numbers: 90, 89, 86, 81. You know what I mean? Like 100, 92, 81, 78. They're they're within. Yeah, reaching. a point. Yeah, so they're gonna have to really, figure. There's a very well, tight, especially but listen, the wild card. But listen, other than other than um, <clears throat> this, the actual tie here. Yeah, they could make a clean break. Actually, the tie is it's third and fourth. Tie. It's a Where? three-way tie. Nope. Because they got they're both. head Islanders by a no, point. No, but it's it's Columbus and the Hurricanes and and oh, the, Hurricanes the and and. Je no, but that's on the other side. That's no, it's all the same. That's Eastern side. Oh, okay. That's our side. Yeah. So. How am I telling you this? And you? No, no, you're right. Yeah, sorry. I know it's just because I get really in depth with the hockey pool that no, we no, play. No. Yeah, and that's the problem. Like, I it's really in depth, and there's so much more to follow, and that's why I've been getting better at following. No, but other hockey. than the actual ties, though, this is what I'm saying. 
they can make a clean break and announce who's going to face who right now if they were to call the playoffs. And Carolina's got two games in hand, bro. Like you said, I know they they can do it. And Montreal's out. Everybody could very all out. easily is what I'm saying. Though it's yeah. not going to be too hard. No, it's they just suck. go on wins. Yeah, they got plus, more wins. You, you, overtime yeah, losses. Yeah, not with the ties and all that shit, right? So. Yeah, overtime losses determine a big, big fucking. Uh, I don't even know how that. I don't know how it works. I get it. It's only one point, but when it comes down to being tied, I don't know how it works at the end of the week. You know what I'm saying? Like. I guess we'll see if that's what they I'm, end that's up the doing. one thing I have a hard time figuring out with my hockey pool is with the overtime losses, like how it's pushing me down, and you know, because I'm kind of tying and get, or getting like uh, uh, the ties, which we consider overtime losses, right? In in, in our hockey pool, so it it uh, gets really in depth. I have a, a friend Gus that he's really good at uh, putting these hockey pools together, and uh, he gets he's our He's our general manager, if she, so to say. So he's the one who takes care of it every year, and it's free. This one we do is for free. I I have a feeling that they maybe they play one themselves for money, like uh, with a different group of people. Because there's some days that they sit people, right? And I'm wondering why are they doing that? They're maybe they're not paying attention, right? I try to set mine up for the week unless I make trades, mm-hmm. right? Because I don't, I tend not to pay attention. And I set it up today to find out they're not playing today, and and that's another thing too. Is like. We're talking about this now. By next week, when you guys hear this show, it could be a lot worse. Yeah. It could be, we could be like uh, to be determined for next episode. Like I, we could say that right now. Who knows right now? Like, yeah. Un- unfortunately, we don't know. We don't know anything that's going on. Like we, we're we just as dumb yeah, and blinded don't, as everybody don't, else. Don't take anything we're saying here for <clears throat> fact or... or uh, or uh, you know what I mean? Like don't don't like no. we're just we're just making assumptions based off information yeah, that's we, in the we, media right heard, now, yeah, right? We've only heard through the media, yeah. but the media is always wrong, which so is also a lot of us... fear mongering going on out there. Like we mentioned previously, a lot of misinformation. A lot of I think we're still I'm worried like about I, this. <laughs> yeah, so let's get into that. So I I'm glad we talked about a little bit about hockey though. So it should be interesting. I'll let you guys know if I get all that payola but, from oh, these fucking. Quick I'm, thing I'm about fine hockey with, guys. I'm and fine this with is anybody ending. who listens, like my uncle Ed. Okay, what happens? Does that mean I keep the Lambo Cup for another year, like the lockout sort of thing? It would mean that. It would. It would mean I am the champion. But it'd be a tainted win again. It's okay. I don't get no money, but at least you know what that makes up for well, the I year was, I didn't get it. Well, I was saying, to, you know, I was saying to Christine today. Hey, I said to her. I said, hey, listen, um, if I don't, uh, if the season does end and I win these pools, it'll make up for the year that I had to basically give my money away to buy the cup. <laughs> exactly, man. No, it's true. It's not going to be know, our it's pool. Not even, it's not going to yeah. be our playoff pool, but that's okay. No, it's it, so true, though. It's karma, right? So that's Fuck why I'm, right. I, I'm, I'm hoping that the season ends, as bad as that sounds. I just listen, guys, I would now. like, you know, <laughs> you know what's, you know what's, you know what's nice, though? Um, that would be nice, but it would be also shitty because playoff hockey, there's nothing better than that. No, Honestly, in terms better. of sports, guys. Basketball, like, you can play in the summer. They can play. I know everybody says March Baseball. Madness, basketball's crazy, like if you're into but that. But like they can play that in the summer. No, I just I just think in terms they of competitiveness, it, like game whole game changes. You know what I mean? Like it, when he gets to the playoffs, and I know again, and it's like that in lots of sports. But hockey, I don't think he honestly like. I know people that don't even really watch hockey, but they'll watch playoff hockey. Like playoff hockey is some of the most the f- fast paced, competitive kind of comebacks. You know what I mean? Like excitement, you, the best of seven. Same like, like, you know like, uh, I mean? like it's, it's MLSC. They own so much. Great they, too, they're gonna, own, but they they're, they're gonna take a huge hit. The MLSC, the whole entertainment thing, like with the soccer. soccer. That happens because that's coming canceled up. right now suspended right, right? now too. Yeah, yeah i figured they yeah. canceled everything them so especially all though because they're traveling the world right well, like yeah. i mean that's a little different like and it's in europe but they just finally they haven't even canceled f1 racing in australia that's because they're americans no that's <laughs> european <laughs> that's european right which one f1 Oh, okay. I don't right. know. I F1, don't, yeah. I don't know yeah. nothing about that no, shit. F1 racing, they, they just said McLaren. <laughs> I thought it said like NASCAR. Well, McLaren like backed down. <laughs> and McLaren has taken a step back. They're not going to send them to Australia because of what's going on over there. Because yeah. they're having issues over there yes, now too, right? absolutely. So I'm just worried like for my brother and my nephews and shit coming back. Like, you know, because they'll be in an airport. Sure. And, you know. What a fucking 2020 though so far, bro. I was just like reading. It's Not funny because you always see those memes. It's like 2020 so far. WW3. <laughs> Fucking Australia on fire, Isn't coronavirus. It? No, this is all shit know, that like fucked, it started no. the year off, right? That's what I mean. Tom Hanks has coronavirus. <laughs> no, Tom Hanks. It was funny because they somebody, the meme I saw, the person put that in the list. I'm like, it's nuts, I'm dude. like, really? Like, like, <laughs> I'm like, 
I'm like, I'm like, that doesn't really pair off. I mean, I know people. Tom Hanks is beloved by some. I'm not a huge Tom Hanks fan, but <laughs> I, I was, like him, man. I know. After Mister Rogers thing, that show that he I have played. to watch that still. I yeah. have to watch that. Yeah. You know what movie? I, you know what? Um, What's what the that? fuck was that movie I just watched? We'll have to get into shows quickly a little bit later. Um, once we're done with this coronavirus shit, but, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, I watched some fucking movie for the first time the other day. I literally, I'm pulling you. I just, I literally just watched it last night. Oh, yesterday. You ever seen that? That's a good movie. Movie. It's a nice movie. It's uh, it's uh, about a, a guy, it's a nice movie. Uh, like an English uh, dude. Uh, he's like, um, um, he he. Um, for whatever reason, something happens in his life. He's like a singer songwriter okay. and everybody forgets. Um, like there's some sort of weird occurrence that happens in the world and yeah. everyone forgets the music of the Beatles. Okay. And then he's able to go and play all oh. of their songs for people for the first time. That's what's his face? Um, Oh fuck! I'm having a brain fart. Anyways. So uh, I, 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 I've seen it. They, they don't know who the Beatles are. Yeah. Who's in it? I, I don't really know any of them, to be honest. There's not a lot of famous people in it. I mean, there is, uh, and there isn't. There's some good people in it that I know, but yeah, I can't. See. I can't think of their names. Pull up your stats, I guess. It's a brown guy. It's, you know what I mean? Like he's. I don't know what he is. Like I don't want to say Indian because that's like you know what I mean. Like, oh, he like is. It's usually wrong, but yeah, this dude, and it's great because he actually performs all the music, and he like even does like variations of all the Beatles songs in it because yeah. he's like he has to re-represent it to the world in this. I think I did because. Yeah, Ed Sheeran's in it as yeah, well. Ed Sheeran's in it. I forgot. Yeah, James Corden. Yeah, they're all in it. They're, I remember. I, a lot of bit I parts seen. though. She's good in it. Uh, Kate McKinnon, the comedian, the actress. She's 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 really good. She's yeah, his agent he, in it. And uh, James Corden's in it for like a moment. Uh, Ed Sheeran's his... actually got a big part in it though. That is that's, true. I, I think about that's that. why I might have seen. Yeah. I think I might have seen it. Like it's good. Started watching it. Yeah. Because I remember hearing about. It. They didn't know who the Beatles were. I just didn't know it was a. If you guys a, got the a, movie networks at home, agent. He's not Asian, no. But when you consider, how are you supposed to say it? I know he can't say Indian because he's not ne- he's not necessarily Indian. But Asian, right? you would say, or yeah. American. Let's just say American Indian. <laughs> I don't know. That's man. wrong. <laughs> I don't know what's right anymore, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry, but whatever, man. I can't be I can't be apologizing all the time. I don't think. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> fuck, man. It's 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 bad, man. It sucks. I grew up one way, and now it's different. Like fuck, man. Anyways, don't the guy is very good in it. Uh, what's the actor's <laughs> name? Can you pull up your uh, stat oh, there again? Pl- shout him out. Let's just call him by his name, not of what his ethnicity yeah, let's is. Say that. <laughs> yeah, you, if you can, let's see if you can pronounce it. Maybe it's not so simple, though. But that's the problem. That's he's what I really, worry about. He's really good in it, though. He can actually sing. He has a really good voice. He does there all the go. fucking Patel. Beatles songs. His last name is Patel. That's all Himesh I know. Himesh Patel. Himesh Patel. Yeah, he plays Jack Malik in it. My friend. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> <laughs> Without an accent. Yeah, sorry. it's from the... Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's bad, guys. Keep. He's know. an English actor. Yeah, he's from uh, the BBC. Okay, yeah. So he is from. Oh, he's, he actually is BBC. from England. <laughs> okay, enough out of you. Hey, okay. <laughs> so um, <laughs> back to all the bullshit that's going on. Um, You're trying to keep Nico keep a straight face. This is one of those fun episodes. I love it. Hey guys, what do you think? Um, yeah. So, so people, they're the uh, Trump. Put the ha- a ban hammer on uh, on people flying in from Europe for thirty days. Uh, They're freaking but, the fuck out over there. Yeah, he. You know what? Because he didn't specific. He didn't. Because they have the health, World Health Organization actually has specific countries with yeah, specific. Yeah, that's guidelines. right. But he just said all of Europe. Yeah, he just <laughs> kept it simple because he doesn't want to fucking. Re- that's too just much for he reading. He doesn't know. Yeah, for to do. and he probably Listen. couldn't pronounce half the fucking countries. <laughs> Yeah, That's there's another thing. There's right? ones like there's ones that are specifically yeah, they're not yeah. like allowed to like Italy. Of course, okay, is a huge one. But Italy shut themselves down. They, I mean, they they knew, but it was already late. Germany is one now. You know, there's a list. There's a list. I start to worry that if you go online that they have listed. There's like I don't know about ten or twelve places where they're saying you shouldn't go right now. Um, I, but, I start but, to worry because I only when only when uh, they start shipping like they said no cruises and stuff. No people cruises. to avoid cruises and not planes. But planes are, are are like they're not a lot of people taking planes. No one's the taking ships, cruises. The ships, the all the cargo ships. Yeah, they're still allowed. So until that stops, the world doesn't stop. Once still as goods, once goods are still coming into the stores, it's not going to stop until the, the 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 city says, "Listen, we got to stop this, right. and we got to stop this now." 
so they keep everybody on lockdown, like and the that, purge. And that's why everybody is freaking out right now. That's why there's like a little bit of a mass hysteria because it's like they flipped the switch. As soon as they called it a pandemic, people started freaking the fuck out even more. So buying up all the water and toilet paper for whatever fucking reason. Yeah. But it, but you're right. It's the it's if they're actually and there's been talk right now that they might put our city or most cities now in quarantine and like people might have to be stationed in their homes and only essential service people like hospitals and stuff like that will have to go out hmm. and 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 serve the public but um <clears throat> and do what they have to do and and uh but if that does happen then uh yeah you do want to be stocked up with a bunch of shit for sure so i get that but like you said unless unless the services and things aren't being delivered i think everybody's just anticipating the next step in this process right so like if that were to happen then absolutely i can understand why some people are freaking out but like you know they don't and, and you don't want to be that guy that waits till that moment where it, if that were to occur then you turn around and you're like okay now let me go grab some shit and there's nothing right i get yeah. it I get it, but if everybody jumps the fucking gun like this, that is what's gonna fucking happen, well, right? Like I'm, if everybody does it this early, yeah, and you know what I mean. Like it's kind of like a like a weird way of fucking conducting yourself. Not that it's it's gonna be a zoo it's a greedy, way. It's almost like a greedy thing too. But uh, listen, I get it. People are trying nuts. to protect themselves and, and, their, and their families. families. I yeah, get it. I get and it. This, but, and I can't really say much because I don't have that, right? Me like either, I, yeah. it's like my uh, somebody at work, uh, my. I'll be honest with me. My boss said, he said that, uh, you know what, it's people that don't have families like and don't have kids to go home to that aren't as worried, right? And right now he's starting That's to get worried. That's a very good point, Because yeah. he, he's got a little kid and he's got a pregnant wife. And unfortunately, you know, he's got he's worried. We work with the public, you know? It, it's yeah. Like, but what... this is the thing. It's like they're talking about toilet paper. <laughs> Seriously, it was only invented in 19, 1857. Really? So honestly, guys, how do we survive? To before, <laughs> like there is called something called water and a dirty rag, and you know, it's funny though because dude. now people are are uh, are profiting off of all this shit though. But that's right? disgusting, Purell, bro. It is disgusting behavior. I agree. I mean, that's it's greediness. Yeah. And if there's no world left to spend it, if you die, the Listen, guy who Jay, owns the people that are fucking selling, there's Purell. always going to be the Martins trying to make a buck out there, right? <laughs> but that's almost like being. You got to watch how you say it. That too, because you gotta this. say the people. <laughs> no, people. there's always there's it's always gonna everybody. be there's always gonna be somebody out there trying to male, make a buck female. off your fellow man. Yeah, no matter the male, circumstances, female, right? Yeah, I think it's disgusting behavior too. I'm right with you on that one, but I think it's just it's just like I'm not surprised, just how it goes, right? Yeah. So I'm just waiting for them to say, you know, because I have my own respiratory issues. Once they say I can stay home and I don't have to do anything, and I can get paid. Then that'll be good. But until then, I got to go to work. <laughs> and, you know, basically, I'm a fucking frontliner if you think about it. Really. Yeah, I also work with the public. So. But not not like, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, you know what's weird? Tim Hortons should, they should be an essential service. <laughs> I'm fucking worried about his I'm coffee. worried about, yeah, because you know what? If you think about it, because I'm going to be like an alcoholic. I'll be, I'm going to have the shakes, dude. If I can't get coffee, if I don't go and withdrawals. go stack up on coffee, fuck the toilet paper, I'm going to have withdrawals, man. I'm not even joking. Right? Speaking of coffee, hey, I don't well, mean I to jump a topic on you, but what do you think of that roll up the rim fucking app? I don't know. I haven't used it. You want to see live? My girlfriend has. Like? My girlfriend has. And, it's fucking uh, boring. I got a million fucking draws. She's, hey, listen. All I have to say is she's only gotten a couple coffees, and she's already won like two coffees. Right? I have never I won a coffee. I've gotten 12 for 50 she's, in the last she's, two days. I swear she's gotten maybe three, and she's won two. Yeah, and this is ridiculous because, honestly, I, I buy coffees like crazy, and all I keep getting is these stupid draws to fucking – what are they – yeah, a ticket for a ballot for a draw for a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Woo wee! <laughs> It'd be nice to get that money, but that's about as right. much as I've probably put into Tim Hortons since oh, I started. I'm glad drinking. you have your priorities in order. Oh, Worried about you. Tim Hortons. <laughs> well, well, everyone's. Pre I have a bidet, you know what, you, so it's okay. We have got a bidet. Jay, there. People can... survived without coffee for. <laughs> no, they didn't. I'm just saying. We're gonna fucking find out when uh, coffee's I'm invented. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you need to like you know chill. Like you're te you're you're questioning people's trying to get water, which I think is more you know, important than coffee. No, I will no, no. say. <laughs> Listen, when when it comes down to serious addictions like cigarettes, coffee, and fucking alcohol, people are gonna get after a few days. They're gonna get violent, bro. 
There's people that are going to get very, and they're not going to be the same people. That well, I already said I'm stocking day. up on alcohol if they announce yeah, this. Yeah, but shit. I'm just saying, like, they're not going to be the same people you hang around every day. They're going to be different people. Oh yeah, unfortunately, it's, it's going to change for people, yeah. right? It's just type of shit changes people, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, can you picture like a movie where they just gas people if they're trying to come out of their house? Yeah, if you stay come, inside your house, if you come over to do the cast, I might clock you over the head and take uh, your toilet paper if you come I one day. <laughs> oh, I just feel bad for like the first responders and stuff too, man. Sure. I give a shout out to those guys because they, you know they gotta they gotta you know be there and not know what they're walking into. Really, to be honest with you, they don't know it. The doc, our doctors, we, you know, I, I got to give my doctor a lot of credit too, because if they're sitting there working still, you know, and they're they're trying, and they know people are coming in in a panic, and they're trying to keep them safe, and especially older people, like this is gonna wipe out the baby boomer generation, bro. It is gonna take out a lot of them, cause they said that anybody over sixty is gonna have a hard time. Mm -hmm. right it's one mm -hmm. of those fucking things it's just not easy for anybody over 60 right, right. there's like a 60 percent chance of surviving right which that means there's still 40 percent chance of not which is a pretty big gap bro mm. you know what i mean like where are you getting these stats well they were saying it on the <laughs> radio today i was just listening from what the health minister because they were talking they had this whole press conference all fucking day man you could you just they were just talking and it almost like they were repeating themselves right uh, another thing that they quickly just announced is everything's being canceled for the time being for March and April say is, uh, it, schools. It. Oh, the schools closed. Yeah. Schools, uh, are going to be two more weeks after fucking March break, which as a result is going to cause a lot of parents to have to stay home now with their children, which is going <laughs> to cause less people actually going to work. Right. Which is going to cause it harder for anybody who is working still in a place that is still to working. Afford exactly and 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 people are going to be fucking pulling their hair out because staffing is going to be low as a result the economy yeah it's going to hurt fucking like but it's they've, take a while to but they've also been saying that they're not going to make people uh, apply for uh ei if it's something like where they are going to be homesick as a result of this shit which is pretty good i think that that them saying that has been a, a they changed relief it. for some people right it's been just a relief because, yeah, it does because yeah. there's been a lot of people affected like we just we said a little earlier there is a lot of people yeah. in the, especially in the industry of sports industry i don't know if they've closed down movie theaters yet and stuff like that which That'll is the responsible thing. thing to do though the responsible thing to do is to uh still pay those people because uh let's be honest like it's it's, they fault. don't have a choice but we don't want them fucking going around right like nobody with wants it. yeah exactly no, you that's don't want what i mean why be self why run the risk so i gotta say like in terms of people that precautionary stuff that's going on right now i gotta commend it i mean sure people Straight are freaking up. up uh sure people are freaking out right now about it um you know like some mass hysteria is going down but at the same time they are taking some measures which i gotta agree with and like you said and like you just mentioned any big events any events that are more than like 50 100 people or whatever move. they were saying is the number like is smart because like those are going to be your number one hot spots that you're gonna if someone let's say a few people are there that have it yeah they could hit a, hit a few more people and then from there it spreads and that's how it goes right did you I mean, say they, the comic-con was closed did you say it yet or no, not they yet said it. Not they still haven't and that's still not haven't. a smart move because well, there's a lot of people that come to that one from around the they world. They said they're taking their precautionary, uh, they're stepping there's it up. There's a lot of people, but they travel from around uh, the world. No, but a lot of people that don't actually leave their homes that go to that. <laughs> so It's not that, but they're going to be around people uh, that do leave their homes. Pray for me, my friend. I'm, you may not want to be sitting beside me in a oh week because God. I'm going yeah, still. Don't tell I my have brother tickets. that, man. I have tickets. I'll, I won't be allowed to go see my nephews. I won't be, you know. I have, oh, it's out there on <laughs> no. the air already now. Yeah, I mean, I can't edit it out. <laughs> He lets me go see them even though I come see you now, right? Fuck. I'll be fine. No, I, I know. I, I, like I said, I'm not worried. Listen, about I'm not it going either. around there shaking hands and fucking giving hugs to people, right? I mean, listen, maybe I'll cosplay as a guy with a mask. You never know, right? By next weekend, if it gets worse, right? But oh, if yeah, unless they work. cancel, unless they cancel it again. The risk is still low where we live here in Canada and Toronto. Like, there is a risk involved right now, and it's definitely going to go up the cases from this week to next week. But in any cases that they've identified so far, they're putting the people in self-quarantine, right? Um, I'm not part of the demographic that is going to be in trouble from this kind of thing. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not... Uh, uh, yeah, because respiratory issues, sure, right? But... Um, uh, That's my fault. So right. I can't say not all of it, but most of it. Um, you know, 
I'm not just saying I'm gonna fucking go to every single event that I, you know what I mean, that I shouldn't be going to. Like, fuck you, right? I, yeah. I actually think it's kind of surprising that they didn't cancel it so far. But I got tickets to the thing. If they uh, don't cancel it, then I'll still go. I'm just gonna be very careful. That's all, right? I mean, what can you do? I, I get what you're saying. Like, you're in the fucking building underground and shit, recycled air, all this with in, in there. And like you said, people do uh, travel in. Um, but I think they're, they're going to be, be taking notice of that kind of thing, right? They've said they've been taking measures, uh, for this kind of thing. They're going to have people's at the doors checking on this kind of thing. Right. So, um, but they're not going to fuck around even when they're checking around it. Like, they, listen, they, but they're, they're such, they're such chooches though. They don't want to lose out on the fucking bag well, the right now. The money that they they're going to get, right? <laughs> what about I... those weirdos in the city? Not for anything, but there's weirdos all around. Okay. And, and really, no, yeah, you got look. some right here. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So <laughs> I try to beat you to that one. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, waiting for it. You fucker. Um, yeah. So there's people out there that actually want to do harm to people, and that might know that they have something wrong and going out. And could you could you imagine that? Like, uh, there is people out there like that. It's pretty sad. Oh yeah, it's the same fucking people that put like razors and Halloween candy yeah, or and fucking the sand and sand pits and like yeah 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 like, like, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. like uh, like come on guys okay if you know something you're not feeling good take care of yourself man. i haven't That's... heard i haven't heard about any of that happening so far i mean no but did... you don't know right no you're right but we've also already leading up to this have had people fucking joking about it as well which isn't cool like i get it we were just joking about it when we started this podcast but that was just the light oh, we the got serious of it. Here. Yeah, yeah absolutely i mean uh but we're talking to help you guys we're running around to... saying you have coronavirus is something different though yeah. right like they, you know what i mean like you you shouldn't scare people like that you know what i mean like well, you know yeah. what maybe our views in it you know if if we do have to all uh, everybody gets hashtag quarantined. the coronavirus well no if we all have to get quarantined could you imagine our views and everything I, just start going up because people are at home believe it or not <laughs> if i had to stay stationed in my home i would fucking love it bro i got a stack of fucking books that need to be read i know I'm that's gonna... the funny thing even if your power goes out you're <laughs> still good you think, man, you, you, think you think i've been doing a lot of trade talks these past couple of weeks bro i fucking bring out 20 fucking trade talks <laughs> Just well, like, <laughs> you think about it, right? Like, really, you're lucky. Man. I do the quarantine report. Fucking, yeah. tra- <laughs> you're really, you're chat, honestly, lucky, yeah. I'm dude. set. I'm set because uh, you got all the re- reading material. Yeah, you need. that's and what then, I mean. Hey I'm, guys, worst case scenario, if he's stuck even longer, <laughs> it's toilet paper. That's right. That's right. All these all these comics I don't like, fucking wipe my ass with it. I got nothing to worry about, bro. <laughs> ah. I got nothing to worry about. Trust oh, me. Yeah, let's go tell that to Christine. I got nothing to worry yeah, you about. You got toilet paper. We got a bunch in this room. I got room. millions of fucking papers. Oh my god, that's crazy! I never even thought about that. Yeah, bro. But yeah, you don't even need your power. Like people are worried about the power and electricity. I know because people aren't going to be working. Yeah, well, generators are still going to be working. They oh, don't people stop that for don't viruses. read, they're going to fucking have a hard time. I'm sure without technology, I'm good. My like my that's what I'm saying. Like people like in my nephew's generation, the young kids. Oh yeah, they're, they're gonna be like, what do we do? <laughs> if, our, if their phones go dead on them, there's no power. Bro, I remember do? when there was a blackout. I read by candlelight bro. <laughs> during Christmas, like a few years ago. Remember? I watched the yeah yeah. I watched the fucking show where they had millennials or just younger than that, right? Like just the generation below that, having them try to open. Uh, I think it was Ellen. They had them try it with my mom. I was there, right? And and she was watching. They're they're getting yeah. They were trying to get them to open cans, right? With a fucking you know the old school. Uh, you hold it by hand. You lock oh, it. Oh yeah. yeah. They they had no fucking clue what they were doing, dude. I was like, okay, That's now sad. I feel old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, That's just sad. But I guess know? if you never had to do it, then sure, right? But I mean, then yeah, I said to my mom, I said it's just like you learning how to use the electrical one when they came out, you know. <laughs> Um, but they're also saying right now that if there's like, listen, this guy's overcome everything. I'm sure that they're not going to get enough people to swing sides on this. Um, but they're saying again, this is very impactful and hurtful for, for Trump with the reelection coming. No, um, I don't think so. Well, hold on. Let me, let me finish my thought here. You tell you, I don't don't actually think it's going to stick. That's why, that's why I started off by saying that. But I know a lot of people are now commenting on the fact because in light of all this shit that's gone down and the fact that, you know, the whole Obamacare thing when he first came into office, he basically took apart right away, right? Yeah. Like the whole fucking healthcare initiatives that he had set up previous or at least that in that were going in that direction, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Now that they actually have a pandemic on their fucking hands, right? Yeah. A lot of people are not so favorable to what has happened now as a result when they actually need it, right? Like well, yeah. when healthcare is such an important factor right now, 
right? And the people that are running against him right now is an important factor for some of them. Mm -hmm. I think the, was it maybe the Bernie Sanders guy or one of them anyways? Um, I don't know who it is running against him. Yeah, I well, couldn't tell you. Well, yeah. I know it's something like that. Yeah. Anyways, again, I don't know too much on politics, guys. I just heard that it's 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 hurting him right now. And I just feel like or whatever, like the, the, it the might be hurting him collecting. day to day right now. Oh. But I, I think overall, if they come over this and we, they, they come through it and everybody comes through it fine, it's going to look better for him because he's going to use that and other thing as a marketing sure. gimmick, right? Sure. So but right now the economy is doing really bad, bro. Like the crazy thing is like, trust me, like, man, I know it, where my money is right now. It's going down the fucking drain. The economy is doing really bad, especially with this whole Europe thing now. Like they're really pissed off. There's shit that like uh, our okay. economy is not fucking not been great for a while anyways, but, uh, uh, the dollar is even worse right now compared to with the U S dollar right now. And, uh, well, and uh, and what what just happened? Uh, fucking gas is at an all time low. Say, yeah, you know, you know the market's gone to shit. You know the world. The market has gone to shit when the gas is eighty seven cents in a city full of four million people. Right. Right. Now the only thing I'm worried about is once this is all over, that gas is going to go up to a dollar fifty, just because they're going to throw gotta taxes make their money on back. it. Yeah. Gonna throw more. They're going to uh, you know they're going to have to make the money back that they're losing from all this. Even the government's losing money, you know, from all this. You know, trade everything like that. Yeah, they're, they're gonna have to make it back somehow, right? And they'll just start taxing us again more after we just lost money. Joiner fucking made a joke today saying that due to coronavirus, his album's not coming out for another eight years. Yeah. Fucking March twenty seventh, twenty twenty eight. Twenty twenty eight. I guess March twenty seventh, which I didn't realize until this song came out that we actually played at the start of the show, guys. Uh, Lotto, which just came out yesterday. Check it out. It's his newest um song that he dropped leading up to his album uh is the, he said it's my birthday at the start of that shit his and march 27th is his birthday and that's when he's actually planning on dropping the album which i didn't realize so yeah that's kind of cool yeah that's kind of cool i'm a brunch baby as well <laughs> yeah well and it's the day before my brother so that's why i kind of like i thought like, it was close that's what i mean like i for a second i i was like i even thought it was it was on his day because it was so fucking close i'm like no i don't think it's 27th i'm like it's right there though it's 28th right Jesse's, that's yeah. what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. His birthday's so mine's fucking uh a few days from now it's uh coming up as well, well. yeah yours is march too i know <laughs> this is my birthday episode bro it's right up. here shut up happy birthday <laughs> thank it's you right before next week but no i got a brother who's my i had my cousin's birthday on the 11th i have my brother's birthdays on the 15th march I is a busy fucking, month for birthdays yeah because it's father's day it's nine months before that mm -hmm. so think about it See, that's another thing. There are going to be a lot of, if, if people are going to stay home a lot now because they're not going to go out and do things, there's going to be a big, big fucking spike in babies, bro. Yeah. That's that's another thing that's yeah, going to happen. When it Nine gets months, boring, ten months people fuck. The, yeah, that's it. And there's nothing else to do. They that's fuck. Uh, like the depression, Wipe right? Wipe their asses, yeah. apparently. <laughs> I, a lot of people so I mean, were at home fucking, you know what I mean? Uh, out of work, out of fucking money. They just bang. That's it. Make kids. <laughs> Can I make so, right? it's, it's the only thing you can get for free unless you're banging whores. That's it. Make kids and put them to work for you. That's it. Get them to work early. Yeah, I guess at whores, that wasn't probably good for them at that period of time, eh? If I, can, uh, hi. <laughs> I wonder if they put the prostitutes. I wonder if they're on hold right now. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys just go around the city scooping up all the prostitutes. <laughs> uh -huh. They're charging double now, you think, because they got to make up for their money. Sitting on a mound of fucking hose. <laughs> yeah. It's like now they're charging only two bucks an hour instead of fucking 200 bucks an hour. Getting hard yeah. out there, baby. Yeah, it's getting hard to work. Everybody's fighting out there. Told you, man. He we're yeah. fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be the fucking Walking Dead, man. Um, We're all coming after. That's just how it started. I, I gotta they didn't tell you. I but gotta it started admit, with this. The only levity I get on my day though lately is because of the, all the funny memes that are still coming out. The internet's the you internet, guys. That. I don't it's see hilarious. memes. I oh, never man. see memes. One of them. Man. One of them was hilarious today. I saw. They said uh, whoever fucking started playing this game in 2020 needs to fucking uh, stop. And there was a picture of Jumanji. <laughs> Because of all this shit that's been happening, yeah. started to entertain. That's fucked. <laughs> Come on, that's pretty clever. I laughed at that one. I was like, "That's pretty good, man." And then oh, obviously all the, oh, I'm, I'm canceling this. someone. Somebody, I see. Well, this didn't make me laugh so much as I'm like, "That's ridiculous." Like everyone's again, like the joiner thing. Everyone's taking advantage yeah, of the yeah. fact, like, "Oh, I'm canceling this." Or this is delayed due to coronavirus. Just using the excuse now, right? Somebody, I think, apparently, I just saw a post. Somebody said to Cardi B, "They're like, where's the, where? Why? When? You, what's going on?" on with that song you were going to drop and she's like it's late because of corona 
Yeah, or yeah. Like there's some weird things like yeah, coronavirus, toilet paper shortage, alternatives. Well, then there was a thing going around about saying that somebody in the factory for the for the <laughs> for the toilet paper. That's a good Could one. You picture somebody yeah. doing that on the fucking thing. Maybe that should be the show art. Yeah, this guy's got the. There esca- you go. <laughs> he's got in the picture is an escalator, and he's fucking having the escalator thing that goes around. Wait, this. <laughs> this one won't let it download. I just oh. get Ronnie sent it, oh. and shout out to Ronnie too because if you yeah. guys didn't notice on our fucking yeah, on yeah, our page yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Mr. T Dot, sorry, uh, you know, check him out, guys. Like, By the he, time you guys listen to this, the story will be long gone. But yeah, we posted on our uh, late night chat network Instagram, yeah, um, that our t shirts are in the works right now, guys. So I it's, couldn't that's believe it coming. Uh, it threw that's, me right off. Yeah, no, I'm glad. I, I we we haven't talked about it in a while because I kind of it wasn't it's happening. Kinda, yeah, fell so, off track. Um, I figured now though, with it come getting closer, you're gonna see us be rocking those soon, guys. So yeah. hit us up if you want some for yourselves. Maybe we can work out a deal with uh, your buddy there, Mister T Dot. So oh, shout, shouts worry. out to I'm him. I'm work out a good deal with him. That's uh, his Instagram is what? Just T- at Mister T Dot T E D O T. I think I, I I connected a link to it too on the. On the okay, so check it out. Chat. Check check uh, JT's. Yeah, there on our Instagram. Instagram at late night chat yeah. and that's the other thing guys make sure to hit the like button if you're watching our video and make sure to hit subscribe because you can be up to date with all our content and yeah so uh, if you didn't notice I brought back the show notes he did yes congrats thank you Jay let's see if you make them for this one as well next week uh, yeah. I've already wrote some of them down if you didn't <laughs> good, notice that's good, what good. I was doing there you go it's pretty easy I mean we've talked an hour about coronavirus <laughs> so that one was I like to keep it simple stupid yeah there you go but no this they even had a fucking thing about Pornhub but I can't get the, it won't let me download the picture now I like to see it was a, a Twitter <laughs> fucking thing about Pornhub oh really yeah that the girls are you know it's Pornhub stop because the girls <laughs> something about the girls are you know the, the actors are taking a you know a break because I don't know fucking know man it was something stupid yeah they were talking about it the guys in the chat group Yo, if I go out to coronavirus, man, fucking say a prayer for me, my friend. Like, bro, if I go I out to say. coronavirus, yeehaw. What am I going to do, bro? It's my turn to go. No, I'm going to go out crying like a bitch if I go. You know what? <laughs> no, like, but seriously, you. what am I going to do? I'm, like, I'm not going to get to take it out argue. by coronavirus. Fuck nah, that, bro. Don't I worry, guys. Argue. We're going to document all this on fucking Late Night Chat Network, so stay tuned throughout this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but no, the thing is, is that I can't, uh, to, to be honest with you, I can't worry about that. If it happens, it's meant to happen, right? We also, we, we also we also uh, shouts out to uh, Lewis, guest of the show, friend of the show. Uh, he's gonna yeah. yeah. We were just at his uh, stag this past weekend. That was fun. I had a good time there. What'd you think of that? Let's yeah. get off this coronavirus for a bit. Yeah, he looked like uh, he looked when I first looked through the window. It was hilarious. He looked he looked like he was at the bar serving. Like <laughs> where he was, it was like a fucking bar. Right, it looked. It almost looked like there was a couple of drinks there, and he looked like the because the way he was all dressed up, nice, and you know, he he looked like the little Mexican bartender. <laughs> it was hilarious because he's like yay high, right? So I hope he's listening to this because when we have him on our show next, he can remember that I said this. Yeah. <laughs> and see what see what kind of stuff he has to say, but yeah, man, it I, was a great time. I right? got a couple of interesting pictures from uh, that day that uh, we could use for the episode art. I was thinking of maybe putting it up for this one, but maybe we'll save it for him when he comes on as a guest yeah, next. Maybe that's what uh, a do. certain someone. Uh, I don't want to spoil the surprises of yet. There's a picture of them wearing a sombrero at this uh, at this stag, which I think will. Uh, Will be pretty funny to post as the episode art for yeah, when that comes show out. So, you have to show me. Yeah, before yeah. I, I, I put it up, man. <laughs> so maybe we'll wait till Lewis comes on and then he can tell the story. Um, so yeah, shout out to him and he's going to be a guest in the coming weeks, guys. We actually we've got another mic set up here that's on the way. Um, by next episode, we'll stubby, have it. Just so. like, uh, <laughs> short and stubby one, just like Lewis. Uh, but yeah, he's a, guy. Uh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy, and it was a lot of guy. fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I got to say though, I, to it's interesting. It's funny to see him uh, like flittering around, fucking trying to, you know what I mean? Like be like, cause cause it's his like event. Like tr- he actually, you know, tries to interact with everybody, right? Yeah, you know that what I mean? was like, a he small makes an one effort. considering. Yeah. No, I know, but it's like he's still like you see him like all night fucking running around from one person to the next. You know what I mean? Like he's trying actually to interact. He, he tries to be and en- to entertain, right? You know what yeah. I mean? Like as that person. Like, well, you he's know the man I mean? of the hour. No, man. but I just, I'm just saying, like he he does that well because me. He's good. I don't mix it up like that. Even if it was my thing, I think I would usually I got usually a 
close circle of people I would talk yeah, to. Yeah, but he wasn't I mean? drinking like, heavy either. Like, he was able to compose. I know that's what you kind of got to do, like, as that person at an event. Yeah. Like, but it just sucks. That's a lot of work to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I well, get you it. Know like, what? You know it what I mean? Like, your, it should be your... Uh, your job. If everyone no. shows up for you, you should, should at least... should be your do, best mans and stuff like that to, to yeah. take, help take care of running that shit. You know, like, they should be helping. Because you know what? That's your day to get wasted. Or whatever you do, and you you shouldn't have to worry about nothing. You should mm. be able to trust the guy. The reason you have a best man is because you're supposed to be able to trust that best man to take care of shit, right? I mean, that's why you have them. They're your friend. They're your best man. They're supposed to want to do that shit. Oh no, I've not, I've been asked to be a best man, but <laughs> I, have. I have a buddy that when I was the best man, he uh, unfortunately he's a little bit of a control freak, so he liked to take control <laughs> of everything. And he didn't even get drunk that night, right. which was kind of shitty, right? But, uh, you know, that's what you're you're supposed to. I mean, I'm pretty sure when my brother had his stag, and I'm pretty sure nobody really, I'm, I think Angelo was on top of everything that day. Well, that's that's the that's what you're supposed to do yeah. as the best man. Like, I agree. If I'm not and, mistaken, uh, that's who was the best well, man, fuck, right? Well, fuck, when I did, uh, when I was the best man at Peter's thing, I, I was the MC and fuck. DJ, and everything. I fucking helped out with the games when I could. I fucking, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but you like, were something at Mel's wedding, too. Weren't you the MC as well? Uh, not at her wedding. No. What was that one? I got on the, the mic. Course? I got on the mic at one point during that. That's the one at the golf course down <laughs> yeah, in New Brunswick. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't the MC. I was oh, doing it was no Jesse. Jesse. Yeah, 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 not yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I got. Yeah. That's that what was I mean. kind of like a yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I forgot all about that, man, dude. It's all right. We had a great time. That was a great the time. Yeah, it was a great wedding. Last week. That was a great. That was a great time. That's actually I think we. My we've, nephew was. Did we? we, we talked about that, that on this show. It must. We no, must have talked about. Really? Maybe no, 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 bit. not the whole wedding, but like the fact that this uh, network, that name, late night chat, goes all the way back, back to, to that. that point. Yeah, that's actually where we pulled. I don't know if we actually idea. said that. Have we never said that on the show? I don't know if we ever did. If we had, it would have been one of the earlier episodes. So just yeah. to reiterate for everybody here, um, Jay and me spent uh, like. The, the whole, whole night, time basically. together at that wedding, like when we're not actually at the wedding, because yeah. we were staying in the same hotel, right? Yeah. But it was like a motel, and they had like a nice chill area in the back of the motel, right? Yeah, where it was cool. like where a lot of people were staying. So like every night, like the three four days we were there, we would stay up super late and just fucking chill, smoke and a drink. I would drink whatever outside in the back, and and we were the last two. Of- we were the last two up like that late every fucking night, right? Like when everybody else would go to bed, and you know you're out and about at that time, you. You, uh, you you see all kinds of crazy things, right? You know what I mean? Like, and it's it's good it is. times, some right? Some interesting things that happen. Those yeah, days. and uh, but just you know, just in terms of like we order pizzas to the hotel, yeah, and you see all the randoms that are out. staying at the hotel. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah a lot so. of people get locked <laughs> out. You know. So it's fun, right? So we you had a, we, mean. we had a lot of good times just sitting there chatting, right? So yeah, it was good, man. Um, I had a great. That was a great weekend. It but, was more than a weekend. It was like a few days, right? But then when we first started talking about putting this together, uh, I said, you know, remember how we had those great late night chats. So, like, I remember that's uh, that time. Because, like, up to that point, me and Jay used to see each other a lot and hang out here and there, but not to that degree, right? Like, I think that was probably the most time we had spent together for a few days, right? So We we actually got along pretty good right considering conversation wise right right so that's what i mean so it was a great time like we had a really good time at that wedding so like even when we started thinking the name for this we said like i want to let's do something like that like something where we just shoot the shit yeah uh, but you know like in just terms we of couldn't podcast. Do it that that late like we did right oh, yeah you know it's right not, we still have but, a life the next day yeah, right but that's where kind of some of the uh the idea behind it came right yeah, so it was pretty it was pretty cool, well you never know maybe if some scenario like that ever occurs again we, we can take this on the road the time, that's what i mean bro. we could take the cast on the road right so we got some ideas guys we're not done that's basically what we're trying to say like we still got ideas in the tank we the still got stuff mic. happening yeah, right with so. that smaller mic now and a little bit more of a portable stand it's a little little bit easier to bring around than all these sometimes we can do that that one mic will allow us to do like a room right that's right so hit us up hit us up we're gonna we might even have some change of scenery in the background where we sit on these things we got some ideas we're kicking around but again we don't want to talk about everything here and here right now because slowly we'll we'll see what happens right you guys yeah slowly hey we talked about 3d last time so who knows we might be in 3d (laughs) no 
So, so what else? What else? What do you? Like? I don't know. We talked about a fucking hour just about a coronavirus, and what about we're gonna do with poor hockey? And we poor... sprinkled in a few other yeah. things there, but mostly so Corona. I haven't really listen. I haven't really had a chance to really sit there and listen to that Joiner song. Hold up, hold up. Let, let's just say though to just top oh, off okay. the all the Corona let's talk. Top it off. Uh, <laughs> top it off. Um, move it on. Move it on. No, <laughs> no. Stay safe out off. there, guys. Yes. Be careful. Wash your hands. Be responsible. Yeah, be hygienic. Be responsible if you're sick. Extra. Don't fucking, you know, call in to work. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, that's that's what they're asking for. Like, everybody, you can't be too cautious at this point, right? Unfor- so, and, yeah. Unfortunately, work isn't going to hold it against you to anybody else no. that's working. They're not. That's what I mean. I would never say it. that otherwise. But yeah. right now they're saying don't fucking yeah. be one of those you, people. I know you need the money people out there, but if you're sick. No, that's, yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, I, I, I myself have been like that like, type of person where I'm like, like oh it's just like a head cold i'll, I'll yeah, go to that's work what i'll be fine right you know what i mean right. like i need to get paid you know so like i don't want to fucking be like that person that calls in for like a day cold you know what i mean exactly. so yeah but even but if you think you have a day cold guys they don't need, go. They need what to 48 sure. hours you right to, yeah, so you just corn. make sure that, that you know you're good don't 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 risk it because you're putting it. other people at risk yeah, it's not about you it's about other, other people, people young yeah. and old you know like i mean you might be able to handle it but somebody beside you that's might not be able to right and it's and it, good. and it's tr- and I know people like I know people like if that were the case and I was coming down with something I couldn't be around them because their health is not is, is such a shitty state as, as do you yeah, right exactly. so it's not um, you got to think about others in these type of situations that's all so that's all I, we'll we'll leave it at that we'll leave it yeah, at that right. we'll, I mean this we'll, isn't gonna be the last you're gonna you hear about know. it right you're gonna probably hear more <laughs> updates on it right. next week so. Who knows? By the time this airs, we might like Jason. We might have to have masks on (laughs) talking to each other, man. It's going to be fun. Hopefully not. Well, anyways, what were you saying? You were were just. I was just saying, I never really got to listen to that Joiner song. I mean, I listened to. Let's let's throw it on the background here. You can take a look while we're talking. I've I've been working early, right? And so it's kind of been different. You know what I mean? Uh, I haven't had. I've been trying to catch up on TV shows and stuff like that. So I seen it, and I was like dying for it to come out. This video, and then all of a sudden, so I forgot. So I'll, I've only watched it once. Here's the thing: what I'll say with the video, and you'll have it on the background here, so you can take a look as we're talking about it. There's so much fucking going on in this video. It's a crazy fucking video. Like there's acid That's shaking. What I mean. He's rapping. There's, too much. there's a violin. That violin is sick. Now it seems like with this album so far, he's been involving a lot of actual musical instruments. Like there's the piano and the revenge song. Yeah. And this one, he's got a guy with a big bass. A big, uh, a big bass, yeah. as well as, um, as well as the fucking a guy playing a violin in like a shitty fucking like rundown area. It looks like, and a fucking girl twerking beside him while he's rapping. While there's a guy in the background <laughs> playing the violin. Well, this is what I mean. And then this you got what... you got a bunch of his boys there with um, birthday hats on, just like thugging it out, just like they're fucking like you know what I mean, like standing around. Then you got a couple of his boys breaking his like apartment apart. It seems like like they're trashing the place with baseball bats. Yeah. Like it seems like he's like in an apartment. They're just fucking beating the shit. Probably out of had this stuff. Look, it says decap MGK. But what? It said decap. The spray paint said decap. Oh MGK. really? Oh, I didn't catch that. Oh, good eye. I'm pretty sure that's what the. Let's I think take the a look. Piece was a G. Watch. It's it's it comes up. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah, it does say MGK there. Do you, that must have been on purpose, right? I don't know. I'm starting to wonder if that interesting, was. Interesting, interesting. It might be one of those Easter eggs because yeah, M&M yeah. has a shitload and, and of them. And then there's a soft serve ice cream truck that's serving kids drugs in this. Well, there you go. That's the allegory. And there's, all, allegory. The ice cream song, I bro. just think, if anything, I don't think this, again, I don't think this is a, one of his videos that's supposed to have meaning. Like, this is like his banger type song. If this well, is going to be on the like, album. I'm going to fight you song. This, this is a fucking banger, though. Like, the chorus of this song with the violin, it's sick. Like, I like this song a lot, man. I'm watching a lot of these little things. Like, who's he got around his neck? There's a lot of different things going on. This is why I couldn't pay attention to the song but at first. this is why I think it fits the theme of the ADHD, ADHD. That's right? what throws yeah, me off yeah, because yeah, there's yeah. a lot. I was trying to focus. I watch the video at the same. Normally, I like to listen to the song first. <laughs> There's a girl unwrapping clothes, yeah. like she's wrapped up. The whole room's wrapped in uh, wrapping paper. See, I didn't even get this far. I got distracted, bro. 
Well, that's what I mean. But but that's so so that's why all I got to say about it. My first impression watch after watching home. the video, my first impression after watching the video is there's a lot of fucking weird, crazy shit going on in this. And it seems like he just had seven different ideas for things. And you're like, you know what? Let's just throw it all at the wall and see what's you know what I mean? Like, it seems like he's just like, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want motherfuckers playing violins. I want women's asses shaking. I want you know my boys in it. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, story. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. To tell you. This is my story. Fuck I, it. I don't think. I there's really a deeper meaning into what is happening in these scenes is what I'm saying. I don't think there's a deep meaning uh, to this. I don't know. I haven't had a chance to actually listen to the lyrics, so I don't know if I can tell you that. I've only listened to the song twice, yeah. so I could be wrong. But yeah, I'm saying just by watching get... the video. Yeah. No, listen. I can't I, even find it. I, I take shit to apart too, don't get me wrong. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can get deep with stuff too. But again, I need to hear the whole album. I got to hear the whole like. I'm going to be very interested to see, again, this seems like an album song, right? Yeah. It should be on the album. You would think so. I just it hope, says ADHD, right? I just, got hope, the, I just hope he doesn't pull one of these fucking moves. No, he's better than that. But I even think. 20 songs, bro, even no, the, the last I mean, four were... This is, this is why I said it's fine if he does a lot of songs, but he, I, I just hope he doesn't pull a move where it's like a 12-song thing like some of these guys have been doing and like we've heard three quarters of them already you yeah, know what i mean yeah, like yeah. again on its own as a project it's gonna be it's gonna be a good project but you know at this point if you look on even on spotify like i'll, I'll, I'll even run down like the, the the songs that they have here listed so far you got lotto you got uh what else revenge Fucking Isis, Revenge, ADHD, I Love, and Stranger Things. That's six fucking tracks right there that they have listed under ADHD on there the Spotify go, right now. Seven tracks, and then it'd be his birthday's on the 27th, so you'll throw you another 20 songs. And I mean, and then and, and, and the cool it. thing is that he said when he's done with this, he's gonna go back to doing his freestyle thing like over people's beats, right? Like he did kind of with the lead uh, after he dropped his last album. He kind of just had fun with it. All the popular beats that were out at that time, week to week, he would drop a song. And I gotta say, with his drops though, he's been pretty consistent lately. For somebody who fucking tried to say like he's, he's not drunk, he, everything every comes up with an, a, a, a video. That's why, right? So you could do it all at every once. month. You've gotten a new Joiner song leading up to the release of this album, right? Like yeah. and, and a video. And I notice a lot of these young guys, a lot of these new young guys are starting to spend a lot of money. Like they're they're coming up with music videos first too, like to to promote the song, not just write the song first now because they know YouTube's a big thing or whatever. Right. So they know streaming like that's a big thing. I think that's why they're coming out with because I think even with the Eminem, the new Eminem album there, Murder Music to Be Murdered by, I think there's at least four more songs on that. I can think of four more songs that can be good videos. Well, he hasn't even dropped the deluxe version of that yet. No, you know that, I, right? Yeah, I know. If and he does this, if he does the thing that he did with his last album, no, not the last album because that was a small comic but like, what did he do it with? Relapse, I think. Not real. Well, he Marshall did it with Mathers. Relapse. But yeah, he after a while he drops the deluxe edition on like uh, iTunes, yeah, and it usually has about three or four more songs, right? Yeah. So I'm sure he's got more coming that's what i mean even um, video wise and stuff right like but, i i think even there's going to be more videos i think he's starting to like he's like he's he was a video guy too he that's used the to other video i videos. guess we just watched it this past week oh, it yeah, was fuck. after last week's episode yeah i forgot the timeline of when we recorded <laughs> yeah, yeah so yeah. that just came out this uh three days ago the, the video for uh uh godzilla that was uh, crazy that was a sick fucking video too and that guy cole bennett directed it and i think he had a relationship with juice world if i'm not mistaken i'm gonna check that i think there was a significance about why he like it was a big deal that he directed it he's an american business executive and music video director he's best known for multimedia he's 23 years old bro wow look look he's he created an internal internet blog in 2013 as a high school student yeah and went into the the fucking music business that's what kids do these days man that's what they, they start and then they go fucking out of out control like they just got all their friends to start following and their friends friends and because look it also says people also search for juice world right there you go he, so cole bennett did video, direct yeah. uh it said robbery he did the nba young boy one with him lucid did he do lucid yes he did he did lucid dreams arguably juice world's biggest hit that he yeah. had off that last uh that first album and then um, this is probably a huge one for him too now so there you go so the fact here. that he directed continued to direct the video with eminem because you know that they made this after juice world died um the, because you know they probably just made this about a month ago that's the cool thing about the music business nowadays though i gotta say you can do shit you don't have to wait like if you're somebody like eminem if you got the money and the production and the people behind you to fucking do shit like this you like you can drop the album you overnight your you can fucking yeah that's what i mean like i was even listening to uh 
Another p- thing that I've been watching a lot of interviews about lately is like Griselda as a group. Man, those guys are sick, man. I like I like those guys a lot. I, but, I remember, I've been seeing interviews from like a year ago, year, two years ago. Uh, I watched one they did with Rosenberg, and I'm not a huge Rosenberg fan, but he was he was talking to them. And West Side Gun, um, it makes a lot of sense now because West Side Gun is uh, is definitely like the weakest I would say out of the group, right? But he's like he's always said that he's not really a rapper and this kind of thing. It's because he actually started out with them when he started out with this whole brand, this Griselda thing and this and that, because they all grew up together. Um, he he's he kind of serves it works as their manager. Yeah. Did you know that? No. I, I he, figured he was some sort of producer of yeah, some sort, right? He works as like their man, like he, that's his like their management team is him. Like he's the one that kind of decides. And, stuff. Yeah, so he kind of started out and he figured, okay, I got to start rapping now. So he kind of almost did it as a responsibility, he felt to the group that he should get involved. Yeah. But that's not his uh, passion, so no, that's why I, I think I it's, figured it was more like a porter. And that kind of style, like when it comes to right. Eminem. And but that. It, it's interesting how they did the rollout, though, because first they introduced them to Conway, and then Benny came like a year or so after the fact, like in terms of like how he blew up, like after Conway and them. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, just like how many people did they have in their arsenal that he was just like, you know what I mean? Like unleashing so who's like the that. the one that was shot in the mouth? Conway. Conway, but that's not the one with the weird looking face with the that's sideways Conway. face, is it? That's yeah? Conway, yeah. But the that's other why. one looks like he's got that mark, like a scar, like where he's got a fucking, where he had a hole on one well, side. Well, that might be Benny, Benny right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Benny yeah. in the last song that he, they just right. did. But no, I don't know. I, I, I know I know Conway has that fucked up face, right? I mean, yeah. it's not his fault, obviously, but I mean, who knows? It might have been. He might have been asking for it. Um, but <laughs> yeah, know, they, they, anyways, in. I've been watching a lot of interviews with them, learning about them too. But I got to say, man, again, I, we said it last episode. This is a fucking, so far, we're, what, three months into the year? All the shit, that bad shit might be going on, but in terms of creativity and, and like, good music that's coming out, you know what I mean? Like, out TV, of I mean, not hip-hop. even just music. No, and that's usually the case. That's yeah. what they say. When things get really bad, that's when people are the most creative, creative. and the best type of shit comes out, right? So, like... Yeah. Um, so the, hopefully that'll see us through, man, because the music that's been dropping so far and the stuff I'm, st- we are still have to look forward to that's coming. Like this it, is, it's, it's going to be a good year, man. This is like, uh, like, you know, it's going to be hard talking about this, like the way it started out, at least it, it might peter out at some point, but I think once we get to our best of the year type yeah. list, I've already started making a list. I know, you're uh, crazy. So, I know. so I, so I finished kidding. Let's not talk about it on and on because we, you know, we talked about it quite a bit last episode. I just want to say the show ended, guys. So if you is that it for it? That's, that's it. it. That's it. Fuck this is off. It. Man. So, so the show ended. They might not ever come back with a third season. Nothing's confirmed. The way it ended, though, they don't need to. Honestly, no, it actually don't. ended I very know, nicely. Bro. But honestly, that second last episode no, with the man. father, Jay. I almost was fucking in tears watching that episode. Know, what a right. fucking sad episode. I don't. I'm not even gonna get into it. But it was just a. It was it was well it was so well done it was great like the whole conclusion of the series it actually had some nice moments like you were happy for all the characters at the end of it but it's just sad bro like it was a sad fucking show like you know what I mean like it wasn't even like depressing towards the end it was just sad like because the father finally ah, I won't spoil it guys you gotta watch the show kidding mm-hmm. it was fantastic this second season blew the first season out of the water for me and I think like the first season. You might even have to go back and, and I rewatch it. I mentioned it. that to you to watch it too, because I think I was the one who was telling you. No, it was on my radar because because yeah. of Jim Carrey. Okay. But I, I just I, I had oh, I, I, I I think maybe I started before you. I think now that I kind of know what the show is, if you I were to go back and watch the first season, maybe I would appreciate it more because that first season was just really strange to me. You know well, what I mean? Like it was, it's a strange it was show, a strange, right? Yeah, but really with the second season, I think I just think it was so much better the second season than the first. But as a whole, now like it's a great show, man. You got to check that out and. And he was great in it. How that somebody that is bottled everything up can just become explode or become normal too. Even the choices in it though, like the story yeah. choices in it are fucking bizarre. Like they'll have like absurd things going on, but then in the background they have like really real things going yeah. on. And not only that, it's like about like it's both. Yeah, yeah I, I and, get it. Like and, <laughs> I get what you mean. Like where it's like yeah, uh, it, it jumps from being really serious about right. about real life stuff to being right. the stuff that Jim Carrey would maybe make up. Like there's a guy that's running know? around with a fucking fake 
like psycho fucking scary looking head like that used to be part of like this like uh jet pickles yeah Yeah. kind of thing like doll like almost like a like a but it already had a shotgun no i know but there's a deranged man running around with it on and this is all going on well like you know i mean like you, you like like that's what i mean like you have that going on but then you have like meanwhile the sisters fucking trying to you know use pickled dildos and stuff you know what i mean like that's what i mean there's that weird was fucking awesome there's episode. weird there's weird things like that going like absurdity and then but you have very dark serious things going on it like and it's about how like his effect on the world like he means the best for everybody like he truly does but our war- world is so fucked up that yeah, all, these things know. end up happening keep yeah. happening to him and his circle like his family and shit you know what i mean so yeah. like it's like they didn't even have a chance to get better or address any of their issues because they live such a crazy fucking life, right? Yeah. So it's like true. it's 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 a it's a great show, guys. That's all I want to say. And um I'm all caught up with um what do you call it to uh Saul, better call Saul there. That's, That's getting good. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to bring everybody. It's a together. very different season now I without see the what brother happens. I wanna see what happens. Why him and uh what's her face there? Uh Kate. Is it Kate? Yeah. Yeah. I want I wanna I wanna know why their relationship ends as a team because i know it's got something to do it has something to do with this no but yeah that but it's got something to do with this new deal because he just picked up that other guy as a client so i don't know what's gonna happen i feel like she's gonna get fired she's the one that wanted him to do it she's helping her out she's gonna lose her job on the other end that's a good point with right? mesa verde because yeah she's yeah, working yeah, with that other company mesa and he's verde, gonna go yeah. up against it but he was just off for a job with Mesa Verde, right? Remember he said, the, what's his name, came up to him and asked And him? those people kind of seem like they have her on a short leash right now. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, they seem to put their foot down quite a bit, this company, right? Yeah, she's just trying to help out the old man get some better money but for she's his house. Such, uh, she's such a good person, though. You know what I mean? Like, even after the whole bottle scenario yeah, at the end of last... Did no, you see that? Yeah. yeah. She at least sits there and she he's like, ah, just leave it. That's what they get paid for. And he gets in the car and drives off. Then yeah. she's sitting there and fucking starts sweeping up these... Like, they threw these bottles off of their uh, balcony the night before and he was just like ah fuck it you know they'll clean it up as he's like you know leaving the house in the morning (laughs) meanwhile she's like yeah you're right and then as he drives off she turns around and she's on the phone making plans with her client as she's cleaning up this i mean it's just moments like that like it shows how much of a better person she is than him you know what i mean and like the fact that they're together it's conflicting as well right so well, i think it's just push is going to come to shove their moral integrity their, their integrity in terms of being lawyers you know what i mean it's going to yeah. get in the way oh yeah for sure so they're, they're, uh, they're two different types of lawyers yeah you one's going mean? to be the defense one's going to one be will the lie cheat steal to get where yeah. he wants to be yeah. and and the other one won't right yeah. and um I know, and, and I she's mad and she's upset because it's working out well for him and it, it's it, you know it seems after the crap like every like it, she keeps getting shitted on and she's oh, yeah. a really good person but you know that's what I mean? normally like, what happens with good people right right <laughs> they get shitted on. and then and that's the problem is like he he when he was jimmy he was the con artist right so that's what he brought into the law office with him right, like right. to his to his firm his lawyer firm look you can just see like when he comes into breaking bad how he's in the back right. of the chinese place right, running right, a fucking right, shitty right, ass right, place right, right, right. you know yeah. I love how they connected the intro with the bowling ball, though. We won't say what happens, but that was a pretty interesting, uh, <laughs> nice little twist. I like that, too. So that's still pretty good, guys. So check that but out. You were uh, talking about that Eminem video. No, hold up. We'll get back to the Eminem video. We, we, let's let's cap off this TV talk with yeah, okay. the, the other thing that just finished, The well, Outsider. Yeah, okay. Well, we t- I thought we mentioned that last week. <laughs> no. Oh, you didn't? You hadn't watched, you hadn't watched the last no. episode yet. That's no. why. Or was it only this week? No, it was just this weekend. Sunday. So so the outsider guys No, when did we talk about we must have talked about we it must, by We must we did talk about all the shows <laughs> last week. We talked no, about it the other day, you and me, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We talked about it. Yeah, Anyways, we can't say much. I just wanted to say because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. It was great. It was a good ending. So and there you, may or may come? not be I think so. I think it was a popular enough show that they can definitely stretch it out to a second season. But again, it's one of those things where if they didn't, I'm not mad at it. I think it ended well. It, it left you with questions, but not enough to drive you crazy where I'm like, if they never do another season, it's going to bother me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's the possibility that this thing is still well. alive, uh, but there's the possibility it can go on with another well, character. Well, it's not right? real life. So, I mean, it can so, go on. It can always be alive, bro. Right. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those things, right? right? So, it's not, there's no real end to it. If you if you understand what yeah. I'm saying, right? Yeah. It's so, like so, a, so it was good. 
But anyways, the Eminem video, I, I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, he also no, finished I mean, that. I, didn't, I didn't mean to cut you off there. But yeah. no, yeah, the, that video. Did you see all the, the little snake, the little, uh, little, what do they call them, Easter eggs that they put in there? Every, every, almost every part of that song, every part of that video was something to do with one of his old albums or one of his old sure. videos. Yeah. Everything in that video. I didn't, again, I haven't analyzed as much as you. I've only seen it like twice, but well, I'll have yeah, to take your word for it. The, that's why I was just letting I've you know. I've seen some, I've seen some, like what? Like what, like what? Well, the trunk is like the, the trunk from. Yes, uh, yes, yes. But I can't figure first, out what's flying. His first out. album. I can't figure out what's flying in the moon. In some shady the moon LP. That day. But I like, think that's from uh, Bonnie that video. Bonnie and Clyde, Bonnie and Clyde, yeah. uh, that one, I think. You said you had an issue because of the alcohol thing you were talking. Thanks for bringing that up, actually. Yeah, I would have forgotten about that. Um, not an issue so much so I'm surprised that he's comfortable because in the video, if you guys haven't seen it yet, at the start, he, like, downs a bunch of, like, Cavassier or something. You know what I mean? Like, that's, uh, you know. It's like a relapse. Yeah. And and uh, and I guess the song's lyrics are referring to the fact that, like, when he drank, he could turn into a monster, right? Like, and at least that's what my understanding yeah. of it is. And like, this is like when he would have been at the Oscars back then. If right. he would have showed up like this on the red carpet. So from this get-go, he's downing a bunch of liquor at the start of the video, and then yeah. he's stumbling around while all this crazy shit is happening around him, and he's basically just rapping through it and doing his thing, right? Yeah. Which is cool. As a visual, it works. It's a really great video. I like it. I'm just surprised because of his recent, not recent, but sobriety, that he would actually depict himself drinking in the video yeah. still, right? So well, maybe he's just showing that he can do it. Look, that's Stan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. There's all kinds of shit, man. Yeah. No, I watched it. I, I, I caught some of it. This one's fucked. I like how they just do it. The but. bazooka. Yeah, he, yeah. He explain, everything, you know what? Yeah. It's funny. I feel, everything that he basically says in the song shows up. Really, if you think about it. It's, it's a, a very crazy visually, video. yeah, crazy yeah, you video. You watch yeah. stuff that's going around in the background. This part here is from, uh, this is more of like anime with those swords. And then he has all his albums that his, he puts, that was Juice sets World's a flame. Album there. Yeah, and these he ones stands here, and raps on the uh, on the actual. Uh, all the ones flying. Check there the show notes, World guy. If Jay, if Jay continues to do it, he'll post the, the video in the show notes for you. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's a good video. I, no, I like it. Quite a few, man. There's, yeah, the, Easter hear, eggs. Yeah, there's yeah, right one. there. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's, that's him back that's at him the handing Oscar. out flyers. Yeah, but that's what he looked like with the do rag back. Then. Every video's got blood. Well, this is this is a relapse. Yeah, every the, video. Yeah, it covers relapses the, with the blood. With the thing with the, all the blood and the fucking the chainsaws and all that. Yeah. If you want to say if it's close to some one of the albums, it's definitely that, right? This yeah, this part here is the best. <laughs> man. It's trying to, that's the only time they're gonna get a ring if they're on their knees. Yeah, this part is the Bonnie and Clyde, but something goes through the fucking sky there, and I don't know what the fuck it is. Then you got the Dre, the what Dre. Is that? Uh, UFO? I don't know, man. Look like a flying bubble fish, like but one of those the, fucking fish that blow up. <laughs> but even when Dre shows up in this and he's he's resuming the Dre Doctor thing, like them looking down on him, that was from another video too when it was him and yeah, uh, uh, I think it was Eminem show. Was yeah. it get that business? Was that the one where they do it? I think Again, it was business when, when yeah when they when they're when they're yeah when they're operating uh, on him. Like let's get down the business yeah. and I'm gonna tell him playing around. Isn't that the video or, or is it what, what's the one where or is it uh, real some shady? Uh, call it, uh, oh fuck, what's all this? I think it's business because they did a I'm video sure. for that. It's the one where they dress up in the is the Batman and fucking uh, and the Robin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, one, right? Yeah, but see, and then and then they have them where they, I think it's where they cover no, it's his mouth because they're trying to cover his mouth. Yeah, that's another. Yeah, part good of eye it. though. You're right. There is definitely some Easter eggs in right, this. Like, see, Tyson comes to put a bandaid on. They've, they're trying to they've shut They've been in up. these scenarios. You know what it was good about this video too? I gotta say because you could tell. I'm sure Cole Bennett was a fan of his. Is because this felt like an old school Eminem video. That's what it was. It you know took what I mean? Everything like, at that's once. what I mean. But even like not see, I didn't catch all the Easter eggs you did till now because you were sitting here watching and pointing them out. There's more than that too. I just didn't couldn't right. see them all at that time. But. Even without all that, noticing the Easter eggs, it, it was just a great felt. Video. No, but it just not only was it a great video, it felt like an old Eminem video. Yeah. Like, and I mean, just the shit that was going on. He's not taking himself serious. He's got like the weirdest fucking thing is the the two people that had his face on the woman and man that are like. Yeah, I thought it was two guys. I thought at first it was two guys, and then I realized it was supposed to be a girl. I just yeah. figured he he was getting older, so he has a little bit of a man breast. So what you do know? you think about like I I don't think he's ever been that person to talk like he talked about his addictions, but he's, he's never been the one to say don't do it, right? No, he hasn't, and he's very out. He's not preachy he's in that been sense. Very outgoing, too. right? But he has he's not. I don't think he's ever been preachy in that sense. 
sense though, no, where he's no, like, he listen, don't like, do it. listen, I don't, I think it was bad for me. Yeah. And this is the reason I stopped, but I don't think he's been like, you got, you guys shouldn't do it. Right. No. Like, and that's, and he, you know, it's funny too. Cause he uses juice world cause juice world, you know, like with the whole, how he passed. Right. right. So, I mean, to be honest with you, it's, it's not like he's saying, don't felt, do it. It just felt like mixed messages. It just knowing about his sobriety. I felt it was felt it rang false a bit because he's drinking in the video. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, don't he's having so fun. No, I mean, that's what I mean. He's having fun, though. Yeah, Nobody's no, having no, fun. It's good saying. to see that. And it is a good video. So, guys, check it out. Um, do you have a... It's way- like one of the original, like... Uh, like uh, real Slim Shady, it felt yeah, like. Yeah, like, it did feel like the real Slim yeah. Shady, if you really think about yeah. it. You know, uh, it, it felt like when he was a kid, back when he first started out, he had to bring Dre back, because if Dre doesn't come back, an album and the video, they, it's just not the same. Yeah. They're together. They are true. It's They are doctors when it comes to The together. cameo from Mike Tyson. That was the best, man. Mike Tyson's in all all kinds of crazy shit, man. He's awesome. Yeah. I don't know. I know he's broke as fuck, but he must be making some sort of money now, dude. He's in a lot of things. Got his <laughs> own show. He's got to be doing something right now. You he's know? making a bit of dough. Marijuana, see what it does? Gets you in everything. Maybe I can get an Eminem video. Fuck. You know? That'd be something. Yeah. Hey, wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> Fuck. Rolling the joints from? Yeah, right. No. I don't know, but yeah, I know you, you were going to ask me, but I don't know if I have one today. I forgot it was my pick. I could break something up, but one thing that we actually failed to mention, though, and that? we talked about it a bit here in, in episodes past. No, just like in the past. Uh, one piece of news outside of coronavirus and, uh, craziness that happened is they just sentenced uh, Weinstein to 23 years in prison. Did you hear about that? Oh, I know he had to go get, I know he had to go get, uh, and they, they made memes with Bill Cosby serving and pudding or whatever like that. <laughs> I didn't shit. see that. Yeah. No, but he's, worry, he's, he's been sentenced. He's, yeah. he's been sentenced. Oh yeah. yeah Cause I knew he had to prison. go for sentencing. I knew he was convicted. It's but, been a long process. I mean, he's been there for oh, a while, right? Fight, but, but he's still uh, going to fight it, right? Like he's, I don't know much jail time is he going to, he's going to see something like Bill Cosby. Well, you can't. He's not. He's not gonna but, die. He's, uh, he might die in prison, bro. I just thought it, you know it's worth mentioning because that was one of the biggest things that too, came at the start right? of the Me Too. Yeah, exactly. So uh, he's finally been sentenced twenty three years. So good riddance to him. And fuck, uh, you know, a scumbag like that that kind of started again. I know we've had our talks about Me Too overall on yeah. here and about the good, the the negative and the good and the bad about it, right? Um, you know, just in terms of like the people that were being targeted that necessarily weren't a monster like this man was yeah. you know what i mean but uh without all that being said though not to kind of get into that whole There's fucking, a lot of monsters right absolutely that we absolutely. never thought could have been i mean Abs- i could he looks like he could be well that's bag. <laughs> well that's why i say, i think we are are we've always said though on this topic at the end of the day yeah. it's good that it's happening yeah. it's just like there is also some bad that came along with it for certain people that maybe you know what i mean like wrongfully yeah, oh yeah, accused sure. and this and that as a result but not to get into that whole fucking take again just to say good on them now that he actually you know because being the poster boy of this whole movement that mm-hmm. it's it's nice that they actually sentenced him to prison without him walking away you know what i mean because that would be like a big fail for this whole movement if the, yeah. the person that the biggest fucking culprit of all these accusations in hollywood didn't actually get sentenced to a time like this right yeah. so well that's what i mean yeah he, he, it's he, justice is what i'm saying it's yeah. justice to all the he people to at least have equal if not more than I think Bill Cosby. I mean, I don't know. Bill Cosby did a little differently too. So he dr- <laughs> he actually drugged him. This guy just asked freely. He, well, well, he told him. Basically. No, he there he was, told him. Yeah, Listen, you know, you do yeah. it, and you can get a job. But Not he didn't a, drug him. No, he, there was a lot of a, sober, mostly sober, probably. I would think. But still, a lot of disturbing. It's still, things yeah, it's not right to do yeah. it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not agreeing with it. <laughs> Maybe depending on how you guys. Right. portray it to me or how you guys you know uh, come across to it with it to me and maybe i you know i might agree certain ways but other ways like i'm on everybody's side man <laughs> move it on, <laughs> move it on. <laughs> all right so should i bring up uh uh yeah, you way know back, what i totally I, I totally forgot it was mine i know you have a bunch of, I, you know because i wanted to really think of this one and I, and I i i do that i start thinking about it and especially when we're listening to like a previous podcast or something i i and i'm doing the show notes i tend to think of stuff or you know when you hear it on the radio and i just my phone my i i I already gotten pulled over already and got a warning for that uh no hands oh really the cell phone (laughs) right like i've already gotten one of those warnings holding my cell phone while i was on at a stop sign uh at a stoplight sorry but yeah i that's the problem is that I, I a lot of the times I just don't write it down. I start getting into the song, right? right. And then I totally forget about it. Um, 
Okay, so the one... I start picking apart all kinds of shit, sorry. The one yeah. I'm going to pick then, it's a little bit more upbeat then. It's uh, when I put together a playlist the other day, I put it on my playlist. It's by Childish Gambino. Uh, it's called Heartbeat. Uh, it's definitely like... I, I think it's a banger in terms of like the actual one I had in my car and the bass was going and the fucking... Like this song came out before the summer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and do you, you don't really listen to Childish Gambino, right? Uh, no, Donald haven't. Glover, the actor, you're aware of him though, right? Yeah, like, I know So when this song came out before the summer, this was like a summer song. Like I know we're not at summer yet, but... Uh, you Donald Glover? Yeah, that's the, or the uh, actor's name. Danny Glover. No, Donald Glover is is the Isn't actor's it? name. Childish okay. Gambino. Yeah, it's not Dan. I know who Danny Glover is. Yeah, yeah there is that similarity yeah. in terms of their <laughs> their name. Yeah. But yeah, um, but yeah, he's a talented kid. This dude. I mean, he's a good actor. He's a good uh, comedian. He. I mean, he's like one of those triple threat type dudes, right? He fucking makes good music. I mean, at this point, he said, I think he retired, or his next thing that he does is going to be his last. There's been some discussion about that, but I think he's a pretty good artist. And when this song came out, I just got to say, it was like the song of the summer when it came out uh, years ago. So uh, when I heard it the other day, I had a fun time re- re-listening to it. And if you guys play this song, like with a good speaker system in the car or something like that, that, it that bangs. Up. Yeah, it it's up. heartbeat. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. That's Again, this was kind of just off the top. Uh, today, I didn't really have one planned either, but I was just looking through my playlist. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to play this. It's, it has been a while. I think when this came out, it was got to be... 2015 maybe i'm just taking a yeah, guess so you do it through spotify if I, that's why i have mine all on my on the card so it kind of throws me off yeah it's off the mixtape camp yeah that he came out with uh childish gambino and like it was cool because when he was actually um doing the tours for this uh mixtape he would actually have like a whole uh camp set up like on the stage and shit you know okay. what i mean like uh like a fire like a bonfire and fucking like you know like people sitting around it like and there'd be like you know fake trees and stuff in the background and tents set up so it just okay. it was kind of a cool idea i felt for like uh oh there you go wow 2011 <laughs> so i was way off so yeah oh, fucking nine years ago so yeah it's definitely oh, way back way back so check this one out guys uh if you've never listened to childish game you know uh download this mixtape specifically if you can find it it is on spotify it's called camp uh it's a really good one so um uh and even the think the mixtape he came out with before this one um which i forgot the name of it but that one was really good too if you want to check out uh you know his music definitely t- take a look all right guys we'll see you guys next time though thanks for tuning in make Don't sure to hit to subscribe, subscribe yeah guys. and uh hopefully we can uh and uh take a look at mr t dot Yes. If you All want right. To keep updated. Absolutely, on and hopefully, like I said, guests to come and shirts to come, and you know we got lots of things to look forward to. And uh, trade talk, watch out for that. I've been dropping mad episodes of trade talk. <laughs> I gotta probably record after we wrap up here tonight. So that fucking record twenty <laughs> episodes tonight. Watch, he's gonna call in sick for work tomorrow. Yeah, we got uh, in the last two weeks. I've come out with six episodes of trade talk, and we got about maybe five more to go within the next two weeks to catch yeah. count up. So, well, and everybody, <laughs> I gotta start there, reading. <laughs> yeah, everybody out there, just stay safe. And, yeah. uh, you know, just be respectful and responsible about all this shit going on. And guys. if you don't see us here next week, you'll know what happened. <laughs> you'll know why. We make it jokes, but you never know, man. You never know. That's my line. You never know. All right, guys. Later. Peace out.